Welcome to Paradise City, the home of burnout driving. From the winding trails of White Mountain to the grid network of downtown Paradise, the city has miles of open road. Explore everything at your leisure. This is unlike any driving experience you've ever had. Every road in Paradise City is a challenge. We record your fastest time and largest crash on each road. When you want some real action, pull up at the traffic lights and spin your wheels. Every intersection is a new adventure. Events in Paradise City finish at one of eight locations, one for each point of the compass. North of the city is the Country Club, the Coast Guard HQ in the Northeast, the Waterfront Plaza on the East Coast. In the Southeast, it's the Wildcats Baseball Stadium, the Naval Yard in the South Bay, Lone Stallion Ranch southwest of the city, the Wind Farm in the West Hills, and in the Northwest Mountains, it's the Observatory. As a newcomer to the city, you've been granted a learner's permit. Winning events earns you a mark on your license. When you win enough, we'll upgrade your license and give you a new car. The world is full of surprises. We'll keep you updated as you drive. What happens next is completely up to you. This is Crash FM, and I'm DJ Atomica, fresh from Radio Big to be your guide to the streets of Paradise City. First thing we need is a picture for your learner's permit. This will have to do for now. This learner's permit lets you drive anywhere in Paradise City. The best drivers have a burnout driver's license, but you've got a lot to prove before you can earn one of those. Now, let's go to the junkyard to fix you up with a set of wheels. This Hunter Cavalry is all we have for you today. It's a stunt class car, which means it's built for jumps and spins. It's a good all round car, though. Perfect for a newcomer like you. Now, this car is a little beat up. So it'd be a good idea to find an auto repair shop and get it fixed before you get into any serious action. We've marked the nearest one on your map here. It's just around the corner on Angus Wharf. Okay, let's just check this thing still starts. Hold the accelerator to fire up the engine. auto repair for the first time, the burning route for that car is added to your map. man. You are here. The other drivers are chasing you southwest to the naval yard. If you arrive in one piece, you get a mark on your license. Your opponents in marked man are always heavyweight hunter civilians. If you drive a stronger car, you'll stand a better chance of surviving their slams. The compass at the top of the screen points to the finish line, and the road signs help you find the next turn. Any shortcuts you'll have to find for yourself.
Crashes in a road rage or marked man event will destroy your car. Use auto repair shops to keep the action going. Event wins are shown on your driver's license. Keep up your winning streak to advance to the next license. the ramps marked with flashing lights. They're the best places in the city to pull off aerial stunts. <laughs> to flat spin your car, head for a ramp at top speed, then hit the e-brake to spin off the edge. Stunt run. Combo together the most outrageous jumps, rolls, spins, and drifts to beat the target score in the time limit. through any gas station for a quick boost refill. Gas stations are added to your map when you find them.
Congratulations! That win was all you needed to upgrade your license to a Class D. All your wins have been cleared off the map, so you can beat an event again and add that win to your new license. Celebrate upgrading your license with a new car. The Hunter Mesquite has been delivered to the junkyard.